Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to share with you a Chinese test aircraft that we have never seen before. This plane surfaced online a few days ago in a movie trailer. It is very likely the thrust vector control testbed for the J-20 stealth fighter project. We all know that thrust vector control is a vital feature in modern fighters like the F-22. The J-20 still has no thrust vector control yet. This is actually the last missing piece in the project. Before we go further, let's watch a clip from this movie trailer. The movie is a story about test pilots. The name of the movie is Born to Fly. If you want to watch the complete trailer, I have put a link above and also below in the description. Also, please subscribe, share, and comment. Over 95% of my viewers are not subscribers, and I really need your help to build my channel. Thank you. Now, let's focus on the test aircraft in the clip. We can see this plane is a Sukhoi 27 family variant. On this plane, the right-hand side engine nozzle is nothing special. But the left-hand side nozzle has serrated tips, similar to the nozzle on the J-10B testing aircraft at the 2018 Zhuhai Air Show. I believe this nozzle is actually a thrust vector control nozzle. But before going there, we need to analyze the test plane first. The first question is, of course, whether this is a real plane or just a 3D model or a physical model for the movie. To find the answer, first I should point out that at least the visual reflects the appearance of a J-16 fighter. The J-16 is the latest Chinese two-seat fighter evolved from the Sukhoi 27 design. It is similar to the US F-15E multi-role fighter. The angle of the video is not great. But a few details still confirm this is a J-16, not J-11 or J-15. The first detail is that the Sukhoi 27 or J-11 has an antenna close to the air inlet edge, but the J-16 does not. In the clip, the antenna is not there. There is a sensor port carried by this plane, a common feature of the J-16. And this is not a Sukhoi certified fighter China purchased from Russia because the tail cone is different. The plane in this clip has no knot. That excludes the J-15. The missile was clearly the latest PL-15 medium-range missile, not an older PL-12. The Sukhoi-30 fighter in China can't carry PL-15 yet. Based on all above, visually, this is definitely a J-16 fighter. Now, is this a virtual or physical J-16 model or an actual J-16 fighter? Firstly, I would say the details of the plane does not resemble a 3D model or computer-generated animation. More importantly, I just can't believe a Chinese movie special effect crew would go to the lengths of generating a J-16 model with one single special engine nozzle plus a PL-15 missile and sensor port. It doesn't make sense. After all, the movie had plenty of J-20 clips or animations, so why bother spending time on building a J-16 model? Most of the audience would not know or appreciate this level of detail. They don't even know what a J-16 is. So my conclusion is that this is a real J-16 test aircraft with a real thrust vector engine. It is most likely provided by the Chinese aviation industry to assist with the movie production. Another unique feature is uh, there is a anti-spin parachute. It is installed close to the nozzle, which ensures that if the J-16 fighter goes into an uncontrollable spin during the test flight, the parachute will be deployed and force the plane out of the spin. This safety method is essential in test flights involving engines. I have a strong feeling that whoever decided to allow the movie crew to film this test plane made a mistake. The Chinese military industry tends to keep testing platforms secret, and this J-16 test plane and the engine nozzle are definitely classified. That is why we have never seen them before. Maybe someone will be held responsible now that it has been unveiled in a movie. The obvious question is, what can this noodle do for the J-20 fighter? If we go back to the 2018 Zhuhai Airshow, the J-10B thrust vector control testing aircraft proved to the world its capability. This J-10B fighter is the closest plane 
to the J16 we are talking about in this video. The J10B performs multiple post-store maneuvers in the show, proving the technology has reached maturity in China. You might ask, why is a J16 with a thrust vector nozzle the test bed for the J20 Stealth Fighter project? Why not simply use a J20? The reason is risk management. The J16 testing plane only has one thrust vector nozzle installed, so it has a standard engine to fall back to. It is much safer to test this kind of things on a J16 than directly test it on a J20 fighter. Once the test flight is completed, one or more J20 fighters will be modified to be the new test bed. This actually might have already started. Again, based on the J10B demonstration in 2018, if in the future the J20 fighter models start to have thrust vector control technology, the J20 will be even more maneuverable. To give you a better understanding, please check out my video about how good the current J20 can maneuver. There is a link above and in the description. Overall, the J10 is already extremely agile in its current status. When the new turbofan engine with vector technology is ready, the J20 will not only have more power, but also easier to lock on and fire at targets. When that happens, the Chinese air combat capability will grow significantly. Thank you for watching this video. If you can, please subscribe, share, and comment. That would be great. Thank you.